Sometimes I worry about Sodrin. That elf fiddles with his dagger more times than a blacksmith would consider healthy. Or a priestess. Really? That was uncalled for. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Jade. It's time for our toughest mission yet. We need to deliver these pamphlets. I know it's one of your favorite things to do. That's why I volunteered you. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? Deliver the pamphlets and the warmth of Mara to the citizens here in Rifton. What did they say? Don't give them to the guards? Okay, I think that's what she said. Oh. Jade, I wanted to share with you the gift that I received by doing the, um, the missions for Mara. Here. I'm now an agent of Mara, and my magic resistance has been increased by 15%. It's pretty incredible, don't you think? Legendary Come on. How about you, child? What? What is it now? Talking cheap, Captain. Protect yourself, um, All right. Well, I apparently can't give you anything. Hmm. Is it That's absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? Uh, what do you want? You moved here anyway, huh? Okay, I suppose I can't give you one of these either. What a boring conversation. So one he didn't come for me after I got... ...directed his... ...lover... ...to Clemic. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. Snilf, bless you. Hey, can I get a gold or two? Um... No, I'm sorry, I, I don't have anything for you. Sure, why would you want to even speak to me? I'm a dirty beggar. Fine, to oblivion with you, with all of you. You rich piles of dung walking by us like we're not there, Looking pretending we don't exist? How chance? dare you? You know, you really do need to calm down. Just a few weeks ago, I was in the same position as you were. But I chose to lift myself up instead of just sit around like you, just feeling sorry for yourself. Do something about your situation. Don't just sit there expecting other people to help you and give you handouts. I'm sorry. I just... I don't mean you any trouble. Just leave me alone. Mara's blessing upon you. Gems, potions, exotic ingredients. Hello. We're one of the same kind, you and I. Are we? I'm glad to have met you. Good. Um... I don't again, seem to be I able to give out me some things, Jade. Yes? All means guaranteed, clean and free from rock joints. I can pick locks, but I won't do crime, if that makes sense. Bowley, divine smile on you, friend. Thank you. Oh, here, brother. Blessings of Mara upon you. Thank you. Blessings of Mara upon you as well. Okay. Vegetables Remember to give that up this morning. Right, okay, so we can give these out. Just a, I'm giving them to the wrong people. Aaron? I've never seen me all this upset about anything. The city really gets to her. Here, brother. Blessings of Mara upon you. I visit the temple sometimes, but perhaps not often enough. Thanks for bringing this to me. You're gonna need it. Watch yourself around here. Isn't safe. Gems, oh, sir. Exotic Don't miss out. Purchase a bottle of my genuine farmer blood elixir. Only 20 septums each. 
Um. Nope. Until I can't next we meet. Lot. Yeah. Until next. All right. Um. Ada. Spare a septum. I don't know why I can't get you all. You you all need the blessing of Mara more than you do. Skyrim. Fresh meats and produce. Get them before they're gone. Make love like a saber cat. Hello, friend. Here, brother. Blessings of Mara upon you. Oh, interesting. I'll read it this evening. Thank you. Remain vigilant and don't trust anyone. All right. Oh, there's Balaman. Stay alive. Why take a chance? Don't miss out. Purchase a bottle of my genuine father. Hello, Balaman. Good morning. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? No, I'm here to bring the blessings of Mara. Thank you for the blessing. I'll put this to good use. Good. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. Make love like a saber cat, or crush your enemies to dust like a giant. Only a mere 20 gold coins, and all this How about could be you, yours. Medici? Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? Mm, I guess you don't, uh, save travel, Landstrider. Mar is not a part of your... Your life. Okay. Miss Grelka. You gonna buy something? Or just here for training? Otherwise, move on. Oh, boy. All right, well. Apparently, you have no interest in Mara. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. That was your favorite person. How about you, Nivenol? If you're looking for a handout, you want to speak with my husband. You're not going to get one from me. However, if you're looking for company, I suppose I could do worse. Could you now? Here, sister. Blessings of Mara upon you. Are you serious? You're as crazy as Maramon. Well, I'm not sure if that's a compliment or not. Excuse me. All right, who else? Have we done enough to spread Mars love and charity? You know we I'm haven't. So sure, we're doing our part. We are doing our part. You have to stop being so doubtful. All right, who else? Let's let's go in the temple. Maybe there's some people in there. We can just hand out those things right here. Like Maramal, for How example. How may I help you, my son? Okay, well... I was hoping to give you one of these flyers, but instead... I'd like a blessing. May the blessing of Mara be with you. Thank you. May you return to her benevolence and safety. Um... Hmm? Yeah, okay. All right, then. Well, there's nobody in here today, Jade. Well, one person in Maramal. I remember coming in here the other day. This place was just bustling with people. Okay, so I can't go... Ferris horses and the highest quality Skyrim. Can't go into Miss Vale Keep, but let's see. Looking to stay alive. Is anybody back here? Chance. No, I'm sure this is not going to work, but, um, Mura? How can the humble servant of Talos help you today? Here, sister. Blessings of Mara upon you. Ugh. Get this awful paper away from me by Talos. Well, at least... Talos preserve you. You took it. Thank you. OK, 
Okay, come on. Well, maybe some of these, um... Nope, these things did not grow back. Alright, is anybody wandering back here in the alley? In the cut? better not to give these to the guards. I've spent too many nights in jail. Even though it's comfortable, it's more comfortable in jail than it is in Beggar's Row. Seeing those bars is kind of um, unsettling, to say the least. You know, if I didn't know any better, I would say everybody's trying to avoid me. Let's go down to Elgum. Elgum Elixir. See, I think I talked to her already. Or maybe not. You sure? You sorry? Okay. No, never mind. Sorry. I think I talked to you, right? Yes. No, let's go in Helga's bunkhouse. Hello, bless you, child. You lost? No. Are you? Here, sister. Blessings of Mara upon you. Thank you. Um, blessings upon you, too. Thank you. Do you work here? Work? I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. Oh, what? I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Ever since disgusting. my parents died and Helga took me in, it's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? What? So now I'm stuck living here while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. Well, I'm so sorry. You shouldn't let the customers give you a hard time. Stand up to them. I... 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 It's just this... I'm sorry, but I really can't. Perhaps I can talk to them for you. You would? Well, it's... it's Tithus. Tithus? I just saw him. It's the worst. Make it hurt. But not too much. No killing, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Hmm, until next time, what is this? Sweet Helga, last night was the most wonderful night of my life. The things you showed me, the things we did, I could never have dreamt that it was possible. Who even knew that someone could manipulate their body in that manner while wearing Daedric armor boots? You are a true master of the Debellin arts. My love, a credit to your religion. Perhaps we'll meet again soon, but next time, allow me to bring the trout. Your secret lover. Now, why would somebody just leave? Something like that, sitting here on the counter. All right, is anybody in here? Anybody having breakfast? I guess we're, we're doing this at the wrong time of day. Come on. I know her voice can get a bit irritating, but one of these days, we ought to buy armor from Grelka. Not that she has good wares, but I owe her. All right, well, if you want some armor, that's fine. But I thought you were a priestess now. Not a thief to be slinking around in the darkness, stealing things from other people, dressed in armor. That's not you, not anymore. 
got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Hello, sir. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. What sort of message? Ah, well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Oh, um, that's a lot. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm working for Mara at the moment. You'll have to figure this out on your own. Ah, that's a real shame. You would have fit the bill nicely. I bet I would. Come on. Oh, Mule, I didn't get a chance to speak to you earlier. You're a stranger here too, huh? Suppo well, no, I'm not. I've been here for a while now. But here, sister, blessings of Mara upon you. Thank you. I'll share this with Eren. You do that. Safe travels. <clears throat> I don't know, Jade. I think we're running out of people. Twenty of these? And my feet are killing me, all this walking around. Hello, sir. Hmm. You're not from around here. Imperial spy, perhaps? Blessings of Mara upon you, perhaps. Mara this and Mara that. Where is she when hundreds of Stormcloaks are dying for no good reason, eh? Well, at least you took it. But why all the hatred for the Empire? They mean to take our history and crush it all in the name of some damn treaty. The soil beneath our feet is steeped in the blood of our ancestors. We've fought for this land and died for it. I lost my own daughter to the Imperial dogs. And by Talos, I'll not lose anyone else. What happened to your daughter? Lelia joined the Stormcloaks many years ago, when the first of the skirmishes broke out across Skyrim. I was so proud of her. She served as a battle maiden, oh, a using battle her maiden. healing arts to help those that fell on the battlefield. Never even lifted a blade in her life. It didn't matter. The Imperial soldiers cut her down, killed her like a dog, left her body to rot in the mud. Oh, I'm so sorry. And that's why I won't rest easy until every single Imperial soldier joins her and Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim. Well, I see. Okay. So sorry, sir, for your loss. Mara's blessing upon you. Support Ulfric or die trying. <laughs> There's nothing in between. Okay, whatever you say. Hello, sir. You look like someone who can hold their liquor. How about a friendly contest to win a staff? I don't really feel like drinking. I'm on duty right now, sir. Well, come back when you do, my friend. Come back when you do. Whatever. Hmm, what is this? I'm ready. If Excuse me. Excuse me, there's some notes here. A merchant's note. On a routine trip from Morrowind to Skyrim, I came across an Argonian on the road. He said he was looking for someone to accompany him to High Rock. He introduced himself as Zelzaz. He was supposedly a lawman of Hell's Telvanni. I have no idea what a member of Hell's Telvanni would need to go... Why? No idea what a member would need to go to High Rock for, okay? I turned him down because he was on foot, and that would only slow me down. He seemed to be relatively well off, though. Perhaps he would pay quite well for anyone interested to take him. Oh, well, that's maybe a potential job. There's another note down here. Notice of cost increase. Kirava, as of this month, I'm afraid we're going to have to double the cost 
for Blackbriar Mead, as you'll, you'll know. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired of reading. Anyway, um, yes, 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 yes. I think you'll find our customers more than willing to share in this burden by absorbing the cost through a price increase I recommend you institute immediately. Failure to comply with our new cost will result in an immediate interruption of Black Briar Mead. Oh, okay, well, she's got some issues. I don't, never noticed those keys back there. Hmm. Oh, uh, Talon J. Could I interest you in some velvet lachance? Perfectly safe, I assure you. No, thank you. But can I interest you in the blessing of Mara? Interesting. I'll look it over. Thanks. Thank you. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. All right, we're halfway done, but I think we're running out of people. How about you, Carava? Looking for a place to stay? Show me some coin first. Otherwise, hit the road. Well, I wanted to bring you the blessings of Mara. Look, the only religion I believe in is the good old Septum. That's Everything not a religion. Else is just a waste. Thank you for taking this, though. Come back and see us again. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Okay, who else? Dreori? Let's hear it. Oh, no, nothing. All right. Nothing for you. Oh, my dear, dear friend, What Lucario. about Paragorn and Valandor? <laughs> what about what? them? You don't think they like each other? Or do you think I, they don't I, like other males? You know what? I don't even know who they are. Anyway, Mercurio. Is that an amulet of Mara? I'm surprised someone like you isn't spoken for. R really? I had no idea you felt that way. I'm not even gonna ask. I wanted to give you a blessing of Mara, but... Why settle for just stabbing your foes have, when you can roast them alive day. in a gout of arcane fire? So, you've been training me for, for ulterior motives, haven't you? Okay. All right. I'm leaving now. All right. I don't know who else. Um, who is this? Oh, I talked to Maven yet. Maven. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. Yes, I am. Blessings of Mara upon you. Excellent. I needed some more kindling for my kitchen hearth. I believe I've done. Put it to use however you want. Hey, Olga, did I speak to you earlier? Are you looking for something or what? Blessings of Mara upon you. Huh? Oh, sure, whatever. I prefer Debella's teachings myself. So I hear. I don't know why. Born in Skyrim. Brand Shay. Welcome. Let me know if you see anything you like. Blessings of Mara upon you. Mara can't help me. No one can. Don't give up. Don't give up hope. Look where I am now. And look where I was weeks ago. I really appreciate what you've done for me. You're I'll welcome. never forget it. All right. Oh, you. Hello. Working at the Riften Fishery is tough, but it puts some coin in my pocket. I've heard the way you talk to Savannah. Stop it, or else. Fine. I'll take care of it. Just please leave me alone. All right. Remain vigilant and don't trust anyone. Yeah. And treat these women with respect. What's going on? Oh, it's you. Let's see, I don't, I don't what think can I, I do for you. I can't give you anything. No, you if can't you have do any anything. Tips on how to view Helga, let me know. I have no tips. Jewelry with legendary Argonian craftsmanship. 
purchase a bottle of my genuine oh, you again? Only 20 septums each. Hey, Bellaman, you never invited me into your home. Somebody told me you have an adopted son. Is he here? I wanted to give him the blessings of Mara. Hmm, maybe the rumors were false. Looks like Bellaman's living here by himself. There, there you are. Hello. Here to purchase some armor or a weapon? Talk to my father, Balaman. No, oh, I'm here to give you the blessings of Mara. Oh, well, thank you. I'll try and read this if I can. So, Balaman is your father? Uh, yes, sir. That's right. I used to live at the orphanage here in Rifton. Greylot said my ma and my da left me there when I was a baby. They didn't want me. Hmm. Balamond took me in and has been so kind to me. I don't know what he saw in me, but I was glad to get out of there. Well, so, what do you do for work? Have you met Balamond? I'm his apprentice. You're his apprentice? He's teaching me all about being a blacksmith. Folks in town say that Balamond is the greatest blacksmith in all of Tamriel. I hope I can live up to that someday and make him proud of me. And how is your training coming along? Balaman thinks I could be a great blacksmith like him. At first I didn't know why he picked me. I never even held a hammer in my life. But the first time I picked it up, it just felt right. Hmm, no wonder he's not giving me uh, full attention when it comes to my training. I had no idea that he had a son that he was training as an apprentice all along. Thanks for your business. Thank you for accepting Mara's blessing. All right, Jade, I'm upset now. Come on. Balaman, you could have told me that you already had an apprentice. No wonder my training is going so slowly. Sometimes I worry about Sodrin. That elf fiddles with his dagger more times than a blacksmith would consider healthy. Or a priestess. Really? That was uncalled for. Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? You walked in front of me. All right, hold on, hold on. Who, who, who are these people? You! Yeah, what do you want? If this is about the meadery, we can talk later. Blessings of Mara upon you. What's this nonsense? Bah! <laughs> well, that was important. Ba bah will do. All right, somebody Rare else was walking through here. Oddities from Morrowind. How about this man? Hello? Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. You've caught me at a bad time. I've lost someone dear to me. I'm currently in mourning. Well then, blessings of Mara upon you. Not really my usual read, but I'll give it a try. Thank you. It's been good talking to you. Yes. Well met. And who are you? Oh, hello there. How are you? I'm okay. That depends on whether you're willing to loan me some money. Oh, I don't have any to spare. You might be better off asking Advil. The Snowshots take care of their farmhands. I work the farm, but not in any official capacity. Advil just buys the crops I pick. Is there anything else you needed? May I ask you some questions? Well, that's something that doesn't happen every day. You want to ask me questions? I'm just a farmhand. On the list of important folks in this town, I'm about as low and common as a borrowed robe. 
So, no. I don't know who you think I am, stranger, but I'm not at all interesting. You, on the other hand, I bet you've gone on all sorts of adventures. Well, mostly scavenged and wandered. Um, nothing special. I'm just trying to survive and, you know, make enough gold to eat. You know, maybe one day I'll have some shelter, permanent shelter. It doesn't drip down on my head. You've seen more in one day than I've seen in all my life. I don't mean that in a negative way, though. I don't really care to see it. And my life is here, harvesting crops for the snow shots. It's a simple life, but I can't see what I have to offer you beyond how to pick potatoes. <laughs> all right, well, I, I enjoy conversing with, with everyday people. I mean, I'm an everyday person. There's always something to learn. All right, then ask your questions, and I'll try my best to impart what little wisdom I have. Although, I'd still rather talk about you. Does Advil offer you room and board? No, but I don't mind. Hilga's bunkhouse isn't too expensive. The beds are cozy what? enough, and Nulufa is easy on the eyes. I know Sutherland thinks all of Mundus revolves around Helga, and Svana has her share of suitors, but I don't know. Neither of them strike my fancy. At least, not the way Naluva does. But to be honest, I love everything about the bunkhouse, except maybe Valander. Hmm. Naluva? The skooma addict? Well, nobody's perfect. Well, besides Maven Blackbriar. And why don't you like Valandor? Now, he's not a bad person or anything. It's just the way he's always going on about Valenwood. It makes me feel like such an outsider. I may be Bosmer by blood, but I was born and raised here, and someday I'll die here too. I shouldn't have to be ashamed of that. And how does he make you feel ashamed? I've told Valander many times that I've never been outside of Skyrim, but he'll still ask me what my favorite memories of our homeland are. Whenever I mention how beautiful the Fall Forest is, he'll tell me how the Lees and Sylvanar turn with twice the color. Or he and Ungrian will share stories about the way the cities rumble under your feet, or how a crop of new aromas bloom with each spring. And none of it means anything to me. When I sit at that table, I can't help but feel excluded, as if I have to apologize for who I am. Hmm. Oh boy. I'm sure he means no harm. He just misses Valenwood. I know. I don't mean to say he doesn't like me. It's much, much worse. He pities me. Hmm. All right, well. So, is there anything that you want to ask me? Sure. For starters, um, what's your favorite thing to eat in Skyrim? Mm, I enjoy a good warm stew. You must spend a lot of time up north. The stew is good, but it's not too popular in Riften. But in a place like Dawnstar, I bet there's nothing finer. Is that all? No, no, I got more. I think. Okay, how about this? What do you think is the most fearsome beast in Skyrim? Hmm. Well, I, I think if nothing else, bears are the most annoying that I've, I've come across. Somebody once told me a bear won't attack you unless it feels threatened. And now I realize he was trying to murder me. Yeah, they, they do attack. All right, listen, we've got to go. Um, thank you for your time. Farewell. So I hope that answered some of your questions. I'm still confused as to who is who. But anyway, um, do you have anything to Sapphire say? Sapphire and I walked through the city. Every eye was trained on her. She said she was over the trauma. 
but I could tell she was uncomfortable. Okay, well, I might have missed this, but what happened between you and Sapphire? Wait, okay, so you were together in the Thieves' Guild, like best buds and all, and then you left. It must be hard, you know, living here, being a priestess, with the Thieves' Guild here, too. All right, we still have um, these things to give out. All right, we'll talk to Helga. I think we're gonna have to continue this in the morning. Everybody, uh, yeah, everybody's gone to bed. I mean, I suppose we could try to go in the bunkhouse and wake people up, but uh, that's probably not a good idea. All right, I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, everybody. walk too fast. I don't want to get lost in a place this massive. What? Oh, Jade, hey, good morning. No, we're not gonna play this game about me walking too fast in a city that you've been here longer than I am. Alright, we still need to find more people. This is probably the most challenging... Okay, I wanted to go to Elgony's Elixir. This is the most challenging mission I've had. Um, have we talked to well you? Met. Your Valander. Here, brother. Blessings of Mara upon you. Seems like a noble cause. I'll look it over. All right. We're getting close. All right, then. Come on, Jade. So, what, are you trying to fix up these, um, the wood elves? Whatever, I don't get real. Have have they expressed anyway? I'm kind of busy, but if you need any potions or ingredients, let me know. Good morning, sir. You here for lessons like Ingen? I'm sorry, but I have no time to teach you. Well, maybe one day. You can teach both Ingen and I at the same time. How about that? But here, blessings of Mara upon you. I have no time for Marla or Mara or whatever her name is. There's work to be done. Well, thank you for taking that. Yes, yes, goodbye. Oh, here you are, Ingen. No, I don't have Any all the luck ingredients. gathering those ingredients? No, not yet. Some of them are so rare. Don't make those, um those things, Nurn root. But I'm gonna try to get back on it. I've got I've got a long list of stuff that I gotta do. It's hard. I'm only one person. But here, sister, blessings of Mara upon you. Whatever you're peddling, I'm not buying. That's all I need. Thank you. My experience brought me those ingredients. A natural. Oh dear, I didn't mean to say she isn't bright. It's all right, the we things did it. she makes here. Let's get out of here. The things she says and all those poor It seemed like they were about to get into an argument. Well, it looks like I may have accomplished the most difficult mission I have faced. Let's see what happens when we go back to Dinya. Will I get some greater power from Mara? I certainly could use it. Because after this little break, it's going to be time to get down to some serious business. Gems, potions, and exotic ingredients. I'll have them all. Dinya. 
What do you need, my friend? I've given away all the missives. Oh, splendid. Just splendid. Mara smiles upon us this day. Allow me to give you her gift. A true blessing to aid you in times of need. Despair not. Her warmth will protect you always. But, but these are a bunch of potions. I thought you were going to give me power. So what else have you got for sale? Take a look. Hmm, interesting. So... Well, you got a lot of stuff. What? I only got 625 gold. Oh boy. Yeah, I really got to get back out in the field. This is it. Okay, well, thank you. Good journey, my child. All right, it's been a pleasure. All right, Jade, I think my, my volunteer time here has um, come to a, a conclusion at the moment. It's been fun working with you, and I hope to see you again soon. Yes? I keep telling you, there is it's time for us to part ways. It had to end sometime. It always does. Well, you know, there's always tomorrow. Every day, and every day I find them in the waste bucket. All right. How about the white cotton? I will Perhaps see you Helga all later. Perhaps Helga does not like the flowers with colors.